Okay, so here we've got our old iPhone to the left. This particular one is an iPhone 6S, but the steps will be the same for an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 7. And then to the right here, we've got the new iPhone 10. And you can see you can do a simple quick start here to do some initial activation of the phone if you do want to by having an older one next to it. We're gonna do a full transfer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this particular one into the bottom. We're gonna run it into iTunes and do a sync. And then once that is done, we're then gonna grab our old, our new phone and the same deal, plug the lightning port on the back and do a restore. So let's go ahead and grab your older iPhone, plug it into the bottom with one of your standard cables, all right, your standard lightning port, and then the other end USB into your laptop and open up iTunes and we'll check back shortly. So here we are on iTunes. So we've got the phone plugged in and your phone should now show up inside iTunes once you open it up. All right, hopefully you know how to get into this view. You can actually go and navigate through all of the settings on your iPhone. You'll see that you've got your capacity, your phone number, the serial key, etc. The version, which we are running iOS 11. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on sync. All right, this is gonna sync all of the data from your phone onto your computer. You'll see that at the top here, it's saying syncing my EA iPhone. It's gonna do a number of steps. And this is backing up everything from your iPhone, your applications, your photos, your videos, your settings from your, you know, from your notes, from your applications, your game, save files, etc. cetera, um, the whole lot. On top of that, I also like to just do a backup now, do a manual backup. And it's gonna ask me to transfer some purchases. So if there may be instances where you have purchased apps on your phone that may not be on your computer. So ensure that they are all synced and do a transfer purchase and that will actually copy any applications on your phone that aren't on your computer and copy them onto your computer. Now, as you see, I'm doing this on a Mac, but the process is exactly the same on a Windows computer. There is no difference, uh, and that is it. So depending on how much data you have on your phone, how many applications, how many photos, videos, etc., you have, this may take a fair bit of time. So do be patient and just wait till that is complete. Once it's complete, this syncing iPhone screen will then disappear, and then we can go from there. So your old iPhone should now be completely synced and backed up onto your computer through iTunes. We now got our new iPhone X and similarly, we're gonna grab ourselves the lightning cable, run that into the bottom of the phone and into the USB and then open up iTunes again and we shall go ahead and restore and copy all of the contents from the old iPhone back to this new one. iTunes should detect your new iPhone. It'll go ahead and do whatever it needs to do around activation. And then we should be ready to go and transfer that data that we just saved back onto this new phone. So you're now presented with a screen that says, welcome to your new phone. And you're given two options. One is to set up as a new iPhone, as the name, you know, as it suggests, that'll be a brand new installation. So it will not have anything of your old files copied over. The option we want to select is restore from this backup. You'll see that if I click on this drop down, I've got a few different options here, a few different backups that I've done from other devices, right? And you'll see that the date is listed there. You'll see that the last backup was today at 9.31. The time now is 9.33. So this is the latest backup that we just did from our old iPhone, which we're now going to restore onto our brand new iPhone. So this will transfer the whole lot. Click on continue once you are ready. You can read through that terms and conditions and continue once you've ticked that. Enter the password to unlock your iPhone backup. So put in your password here. So put in the password for your iTunes or for your, your um, Apple ID. And it's now gonna start to restore your iPhone from backup. So this is gonna include the, the core settings and applications for now. And we'll check back in a few minutes once this is done uh, and go from there. So the phone will then restart and then we'll be presented with a restore complete if everything has worked. Your iPhone was restored and we now have to follow a few more steps. So we're gonna click on continue. You'll then set up your new face ID. Obviously this couldn't be transferred from the earlier iPhone because it wouldn't have had this. So go and continue. And then you're gonna create your passcode for your phone. 
So go ahead and input a passcode that you want to be using. And then you can re-enter it. And then it's going to go and start updating some iCloud settings. So then your iPhone will come up and you'll see that it's all ready to go and you'll see that all the applications are currently installing. So this is now essentially getting all those applications that you had before and getting them reinstalled onto your phone on the fly. Everything is now complete. The application should all have now been installed and you'll see that if you go into your actual applications that all of your settings are there as expected. So the other thing that you want to ensure is also that you have transferred the SIM card over. You'll see that on the top right, it says SOS. Uh, so you want to make sure you transfer that SIM over from your old phone over to your new phone. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like it and we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.